Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is SlamFox, and I recently picked up Despot's game on Steam. I love this game, it's fun, it's a cute little indie roguelike game that has a lot of quests that are pop culture references. They reference things like anime, or Men in Black, or The Matrix, and depending on your choices you get random power-ups or mutations. Despot's game is a game at its core focused on PvP. Once you beat the storyline, you enter into King of the Hill Brawl, where the best team wins. I've been having a lot of trouble getting first place in King of the Hill Brawl, but I did just get it today, and I wanted to share with you guys how I managed to achieve this. There's a lot of different builds that you can try, but you could start off with a build like this, and you'll score relatively highly, assuming you take things very similar to these. Usually, more than anything, I try to prioritize damage. Riff Raff Fury in the neutral category gives you plus 30 damage to all units. I think it's amazing. I usually try to prioritize luck and attack speed things also. And then after that, I'll specialize in just a couple of classes, and I'll take high evasion, a little bit of lifesteal, maybe some attack down, slow attack debuffs, things like that. And then I frequently take faster reload and weighted dice so that those things have a good chance of proccing, and they proc very high. I've been trying several times with a setup like this, where I'm using shooters, fencers, and tricksters. Fencers are good because they're medium tanky and they have really good AoE. Tricksters are good because they have very good dodge, and they have the ability Elusive Aid, which gives dodge chance evasion to all of your units equal to your trickster stack, which is usually 4 or 5. And it gives this value times 8. So if you have the level 5 trickster buff, it usually gives 40 evasion to all of your units, which is huge. So under some circumstances, you can take plus 40 evasion. You can take a couple other evasion things. You can see in some of these I've taken evasion in certain classes. And then for my DPS, I'm going for shooters. They're long range, they're fast, they attack fast, they give themselves a buff. But they also have the ability of penetrating shots to AoE, and they have rubber bullets, where bullets bounce between. Um, a huge thing on this for me is the intimidation perk that I have in the shooter class. It's the one that looks like a ghost. The intimidation perk, when it hits an enemy, if you deal more than a certain percent of their damage or their health, or sometimes it's just a percent chance, um, it'll scare them and they'll flee. Fleeing enemies are unable to do anything, so the intimidation with rubber bullets and penetrating shots and a huge attack speed buff has this overwhelming ability to shut down a ton of teams. Otherwise, I just take some very generic stuff, you know, vampirism, um, things to make my guys tanky. So I've been doing this for a few times and I've tried to been getting this build right where I think it should be. And I think this is pretty good. You run five of each. You don't need any healers because you're usually DPSing things so fast that you don't need to heal. But if you do want to take res, res is usually excellent because there's last chance evasion. You can take snake agility, but you can also take last chance evasion. And when you take last chance evasion, plus the trickster passive dodge, plus snake agility, you have something close to 100% evasion. You can't have 100% evasion, but with weighted dice, you know, mathematically it adds up to like 105% chance, but you can't actually, it all stacks cumulatively in some way. I've been stuck on this guy with the Chinese characters for several attempts, and if you saw right there, that was me in 5, Char1482. So this is me fighting my own team, and um, I destroyed myself, sadly. Um, but I always have trouble with that guy who's in fourth place. Um, but since I failed this attempt, I gave it one more shot um, using the exact same build. I'm going for shooters, I'm going for tricksters, and I'm going for fencers to give me the crit. Tricksters give me the dodge. Shooters are my main form of DPS. As long as you follow a concept like this, you should do pretty well. Um, have a form of evasion, or have a form of shutting things down. See, this is me again. Um, number two, have a form of solid DPS. And then number three, have support for both of those. Either have support for your survivability, or have support for your DPS. Um, since I failed this, I noticed the big thing that I was having trouble with is I'm always having trouble with people using their abilities right off the bat. Um, I'll go up against certain teams that are really strong spirit link teams, 
or I'll go up against teams that immediately use impenetrability, and then they shut me down and they out DPS me. Um, so since I was having so much trouble with this, I actually took the silence um, mutation. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's called like no fun allowed or oh, it's it's called shocking content. Shocking content. No one gets to do anything for two seconds. Um, since all of these abilities that I'm taking, they're not activated abilities, they're passive abilities. So here you see I've done the exact same build. I've gotten something very similar. I again have loaded dice. I've got the maxed out stack of randomizer. I've got better ability cooldowns. Um, I have high on the dodge again. I saved my fencers just for the last shot. You know, I didn't really need them for the playthrough because with just tricksters and just shooters, this build is so strong that you can clear the majority of the game. And the big thing about this is definitely the Intimidate. The Intimidate sends enemies fleeing, and since Tricksters have such a good dodge ability, it kind of negates the entire early to mid game. You know, you start off with shooters for the DPS, grab a couple tier 2, tier 3s, and um, otherwise I just poured all of my money into getting as many of these tier 5 shooters that I can, because I really wanted to like get the DPS and get those shots and get the Intimidates right off the bat. So at the start of every fight, shocking content procs, no one can do anything for two seconds. Valor procs before fights, and you'll see I completely annihilate this group in like two seconds. And that's how long it takes. It doesn't even take two seconds for the shooters to completely overpower and fear everything with the rubber bullets, all the attack speed ups. And it provides so much disruption in the first two seconds that it really sets you up to storm over most groups. Um, the only thing that has trouble with this is some enemies are just really tanky. Some people go for high HP builds, but for the majority, you're going to be fearing everything, and you're going to fear them so hard that they just won't be able to do anything. So here's the guy I've had all that trouble with, the, uh, the Chinese guy. He still got pretty close on this one, and I realized that he's running a very similar build. He's running tanks instead of tricksters, He's still running shooters with the AoE, and he's running healers, and he's probably running pill. He's probably running like a double pill attack speed up build and high defense. And then here's another guy doing the exact same thing as me. Tricksters, healers, shooters. You know, it's it's so strong right now in this current Greenhorn season that um, it just completely overpowers everything in like the first couple seconds. So his build was very well shooted, and you can see that he must have a very similar thing because his evasion is through the roof. I'm shooting these things, and they're evading over and over again. And thankfully, um, this person is running just mage, mage tank. Um, this, this build will completely destroy mage tank builds because you shut down mages, and the very first thing that mages do is they cast thunderbolt, and they cast fireball, and they wipe out all your units. So there you go. If you're having trouble with the game, I recommend... Give it a shot, shooters, tricksters, and fencers, and then just roll your mutations for that and go for early upgrades as much as you can. Good luck, have fun. If you're interested in this game, I'll give it a link on Steam.